All right, yeah, I just came back from Ken Games, so this would be what, re recap for day number two, I guess. Um, I'll try to go, yeah, I didn't play any games. Got to see Rob right off the bat, which was super nice. Uh, Rob did play games, uh, a, did play a game. He was gonna play a second one, but he was like, I'm too, too tired. Um, he's like, I, I think I need to get a proper night's sleep and see if I can show up tomorrow. I don't know if he's going to, hope he does. That being said, um, yeah, he w went to go play Metal Gear Solid. That's a game he was playing last year. He bought some miniatures for them. It's a company uh, from uh, called Dream Pod Nine. They've been running this for ages. Um, there, I think they're based out of Montreal, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it was weird. I was sitting, looking around, like I didn't play any games. Uh, as mentioned, uh, Saturday usually is my. Um, just uh, screw around day. I just spend a lot of money and just just have some fun. Um, was see his game started at nine. Would have ended at one. At ten thirty, I'm like noticing. I just looked over and he was like getting ready to leave. I was like, what the hell? And I talked to him later. He's like, yeah. And he must have died much earlier than that. <laughs> He's like, yeah. I, I was the first one to die. They just destroyed me. I ended up uh, my giant map became actually cover for the person that killed me and. He's like, Chris, I just made so many mistakes and learn. I said, yeah, but it's all part of it, man. You won't do that the next time. That's the way to look at it. And you're still talking about the game and you're still enjoying it and still want to paint it and so on and so forth. He was talking to those guys constantly. He just kept going back to that spot. Anyways, uh, yeah, I got to talk to a few other people. Got to talk to, um, I'll wait until you see what I picked up. Oh my god. I almost want to do like a um, who or what am I in World War One in inversion of games that Chris or Nanguea would like to get. Um, I'll give you some clues. Uh, Andrew Chung's been doing a bunch of video playthroughs of it. Um, I thought its strategic movement and basic battle system would be um, easy to incorporate into my narrative game. 100%. We'll go kind of like back and forth and all around, but I do not want to show that to you until the bitter end. I I kissed the game when I saw the game. Uh, the person to my right went, um, boy, you seem, seem pretty excited by this. I said, I've been wanting to get this game for quite uh, some time, even beforehand, because uh, it can incorporate some certain things. Uh, the Grog Shed knew about it. Um, my jaw dropped when I thought, when do you see the condition it's in and what I paid for it. I want, you've got to be joking. That's what can games can do for you, man. Anyways, so the first thing I picked up actually was uh, um, these guys. I didn't, I treated uh, Rob to, um, I was like, Rob, I'm gonna buy your, your day pass kind of thing and so on and so forth. I, you know, I, I introduced him to can games, so why not? Um, I didn't realize that Can Games was selling uh, packs of dice. I guess they're just trying to get rid of some. They were selling these for five bucks. I was like, well, like I've said before, I'm super fond of my boss. It's amazing to be able to like, you know, look forward to seeing somebody you're, you're reporting to. I'll give her one of these. She's into blue, like I said. And I was like, oh, these are pretty funky. The good contrast. Speaking of good contrast or non-good contrast, I ended up picking up that die four that I was saying that I just was like, what the in the world are they? Are they thinking? It's that's difficult to read, as far as I'm concerned. Cheapers jumping. Then I saw these. It was actually just the ships, just a bunch of um, Axis and Allies types of dudes, and I was like, uh, I've got five, paid five bucks for that, and I was like, okay, I can use them for multiple whatevers. Then I went over to talk to the. Um, Dream, Imagine, whatever, I can't remember what they're called. I'll, I'll look them up again. These are the guys that I bought the Ross Rifles from last year. And coincidentally, the owner of this company played Pocket Battles um, uh, uh, when I was running it a few years back, so it was kind of neat to... Uh, Josh, I think his name is. It was neat, uh, neat to talk to him. Anyways, I picked up two games. Uh, this one um, is going to go to somebody. It's uh, called Hedge Witch. It's a member. I never cringed once once when I saw the prices for these. They're indie games, for God's sakes. I think I paid fifteen dollars for this. So what? Oh, I found out that would be that would be worth uh, three American nickels. 
Oh my god, because I bought a lot of games today for five dollars and they just kept saying, oh that's an American nickel. Anyways, it's a cute little, it looks like a fun little game. We use playing cards. Um, yeah, I think it'll be fun. Well, I'm not going to play it because uh, somebody else is. I'm giving it, a, uh, I'm giving it to someone. Um, but I think it'll be fun to do. Speaking of which, the board game fairy has been with me all day. And uh, I was talking to her on the on the bike ride uh, to Can Games, um, and uh, she waved her little wand, and I hit every flipping green light uh, to get to Can Games. It was <laughs> it was what it was nice. Anyways, I also picked up this, and you're gonna see the board game fairy pops in again and again. Uh, the dungeon crawler thing. It's just like a simple talk to the owner. Uh, the guy. Um, distributing these games. He's actually, um, they're the only, they're the Canadian cons uh, distributor for Chaosium Games. I thought that was cool. I was like, what the hell? You got a lot of RuneQuest stuff here. And uh, he's like, well, we're the, you know, official distributor. I was like, cool. Anyway, so I, you know, I talked to him. I've got, to, already have a couple of your games and so on and so forth. So I picked up this. It looks fun. He said, yeah, it's a whatever, just a after, quick afternoon thing. I was like, it's exactly what I want. Okay. I went back to uh, Indie Press Revolution, picked up uh, what I thought was the only expansion to them. He's like, oh, no, no, they got five. Uh, was talking to his uh, colleague. Uh, the other person I was talking to uh, was a female. I will say this, though, and I mentioned it to Charles Satora. Um, there's a monster in here called the Trench Stalker. Oh, my God. Is it It's just a... Well, I, I think I showed the picture of it to you to you before I read about it afterwards and I went oh my god this game is so effed up I love it it just it is it, it really oh yeah so this thing here you know what this thing does it's a cross between a frog and a anteater and it leaps from trench line to trench line slurping up the poilu slurping up the poor infantrymen screaming their heads off and he even says here in this little, I don't know if you can see it there, it says, now they stop firing, bloody bastards. Because what happens is, is if it's crossing your line, the infantrymen decide to shut the hell up and they know, like hoping to God, the trench stalker will, um, you know, hop to the other trenches. I'm like, Jesus, uh, I gotta, this is going to be fun. Because it, I see, ah, it's going to be yeah, anyways, okay, let's get back to what the hell else did I do? Did all kinds of crazy, funky things. Um, okay. No, we're okay with the music, I think. Now, I picked this up, and then uh, some of you guys will be like, oh, that's a lot of money. And I, no, I don't think so. Saw so this for $40. Rollmaster. It's the later version, like not the old parchment version I got. But when I saw this one, when I saw this, I've been wanting to get Spell Law for quite a, a long time. I used to have the old parchment versions, but it's got the it's got them all, man. Character Law, Campaign Law, Arms Law, Claw Law. I've never seen like these covers before, so it's kind of neat. Yeah, I got to talk to. Uh, Oh, I was just tickled pink when I saw that. If I, yet again, if I just got the Rollmaster game, I think I would have been happy for the day. Okay, how do we go about this then? Hmm, so I've showed you this, I've showed you that. Let's go to the, um, the bling, if you want to call it that. So I picked up this. I'm super duper ultra happy. She doesn't make them anymore. She's like, oh, it's too, um, too cost ineffective for me. I'm like, well, I'm like, as long as it can pop on my, and she put it on my neck, on my wrist. I felt so honored. I said, hope it's not inappropriate, but can you do it? She's like, sure. Then I got this necklace made for me, uh, a dodecahedron. I love the coloring, and it's uh, pretty funky looking. It's also, um, it's got a um, beveled feel to it. So I was like, great. You want to know who put this on me? Because I didn't realize, and I also got like a little book. Um, and I asked her, uh, she's like, oh, what do you want it? Do you want it on the top or the bottom? I'm like, you're the artist, man. You tell me, like, where you want to put it. And uh, she decided, well, I'm going to put it on the top, and I'll give you this little funky thing at the bottom. I'm like, good, fine. Um, 
I couldn't put it around my neck. I was showing it to Steve Larkin from Custom Game Bits. So guess who put it on my around my neck? Steve Larkin from Custom Game Bits. I was like, this is awesome. And he goes, so should I be saying something when I'm putting it around your neck? I said, may the dice gods be with me. How's that sound? <laughs> or with you? I was like, he goes, okay. All right, so I showed you that. I showed you that. Um, oh, yeah, like I said, then the board game fairy. I uh, run into somebody who's doing uh, commission artwork. And I talked to her. Uber, re I've got her card. I'm going to have to put it in some somehow. Um, well, actually, I don't have her card, but once I get her information, because she's got my whatever, and I explained to her what I wanted as a, for a board game fairy. And I said, look, my board game fairy is not some cute little, beautiful little board game fairy. She's an older, she's seen some shit. Uh, she's got a pot belly. Her wings are a bit crumpled, but she's got tons of pixie dust left in her freaking wand, man. Like, tons. And I was like, do you understand? But she's seen, you know, she's seen some things. And uh, she was with it. And I said, also, I'd like to do a second commission of um, having like a, st a low stone arch bridge um, um, with a World, a World War I uh, sol infantryman soldier or whatever uh, going across a bridge and not too uh, happy about it. She's like, well, we'll have to talk about that. I'm like, good. No worries, man. No worries. We will. Okay, so I've done that. I've showed you the dice. Oh, yeah, and I also got a keychain uh, from that uh, same person that does um, the jewelry. Uh, coincidentally, Rob, when he saw my stuff, he ended up getting a necklace for his daughter. I was like, good good on you, man. So I was, I'll call myself a vulture this year. What, not an ultra vulture, but the people that go, and, go in the lineup uh, for the marketplace. Remember, last year I was uh, playing a game during the marketplace. I get out of the game. Everything's closed. I didn't even get to see it. The marketplace is basically for people that uh, other gamers who want to sell off their stuff, usually at a ridiculous price. Wait until you see what I got for a ridiculous price. Okay, so there you go. So here we go for what I bought. So I, I just picked this up, Ogre uh, Objective 218. I think I paid um, $5 for this. I'm probably never going to use it. It's just nostalgia purposes. Remember, GV, Jev, or whatever was my gateway into into uh, hard, harder core, Hex Encounter, or whatever. Okay, what do you see? Mm, okay, I'll, I'll use the Hedge Witch as the centerpiece, I guess. And we'll go from there. I'm not going to show you the full-ons of everything. Oh my god, but wait until you see what... Um, I... I'm still like... I said to Bob, the vendor, the, uh, last night, I don't know if I said this in this video, but oh well, I'm sorry. Um, I said yesterday to him, if I, if I get this game, if I see any version of this game, um, I've done it for the, I'm like, I'm okay for the, the, the weekend. I got it in spades, in spades, man. Uh, the board game fairy said, you know what, kapoof. Here you go, man. Um, cheapers jumping. Okay, so here we go. I got Micro Fleet uh, World War One, unpunched. I just opened it up a little while ago. It looks fantastic. Two bucks. Okay. Uh, picked up this. This is I've uh, yeah. You can get it. You can download all the articles, whatever. Uh, the history of war gaming, basic war gaming library, basic tactics. It's like oh my goodness, but it's all in one. I was like, well. Why not, man? Let's do it. Oh, look at that old stuff. Love it. One dollar. Shishima. Russo-Japanese War Naval Battles. Unpunched. One dollar. I know. Zeppelin. Strategy and Tactics. The First Battle Over Britain. Unpunched. One dollar. Yay! Like, I'm not into the whatever, as is, as in, like, I'm going to resell this as if. Never going to happen. Richthofen's War, a fun game. I guess it could be. I probably will never play it, but I just want to get this because it said World War One, and I'm going to use whatever I can. I'll do another dollar. Hey, you. I know you. Mr. S. Anyways, um, yep, I was like, okay, you're, uh, you know, we're, we're in here, man. It's one buck. Mm-hmm. This one I picked up relatively late in the market uh, marketplace. 
Five bucks, Distant Seas, the Merchant Marine game. I don't know if it's been played. Oh, it's been played. Good. That's good to see. Because a lot of these haven't, I think. Oops. Shouldn't do that. I'm going to make sure I've popped them back in here. There we go. Um, I'm just using this so I can uh, maybe pilfer, pilfer some, some ideas and uh, incorporate it into my... Um, into my game. That's uh, quite frankly what I want to do. This one, another one. Oh yeah, I, I'll tell you the games that I'm not sure if I told you. Um, the games that Rob took home for me because I just uh, didn't bring the TARDIS with me. I, uh, I should have, but I didn't. Um, and I knew ahead of time. So I ended up buying also uh, Blue Max for $20. It's a World War One monster. Freaking heck. Oh, tons of info. Heavy as hell. I just couldn't fit it in. Like I said, I should have brought the TARDIS. Um, and also a... Oh, I got tricked. It looks like a uh, the old white box version of the um, uh, Dungeons and Dragons type stuff. Um, it's not. It's some other thing. It's called Dungeon S or something like this. Uh, I paid only $5. It's not the end of the world. Paid 5 bucks for this. Wings, a game of playing to playing combat in World War I. Uh, they've... Someone's played the living dickens out of this, I can tell you that much. There's like this, the sheets are all over the place. It looks flipping cool. Like I said, I'm just probably never really play it proper or whatever, but I'll try to pilfer the living whatever I can out of it. But uh, looks fine to me. Oh, we're getting, we're getting close, aren't we? We're getting close. So most of this stuff, except for the $40 Rollmaster and and the five dollar whatevers. So this, 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 not these guys, this, $39 plus the other two things you're gonna see were still $39. It's like, <laughs> well when you see the last thing, well for me, okay, for me, I just was like you gotta be effing joking. I know I'm, th I'm forgetting something, I'm, I am I. Oh yeah, I ran it, no, 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 maybe I am. Isn't this ironic? I've been mentioning this to people over and over again. So I got myself a second copy of Macedonians vs. Persians. It's in amazing shape. I don't think the person enjoyed it much. <laughs> oh well. Um, I got it for five dollars. Um, and remember, uh, in uh, American terms, that's a nickel. Um, and it's just ironic because way back when I was talking to people saying that it was like, you know, $15, or whatever, and I end up getting for five. That's just a minute. Okay. You ready for this? Well, you may go, eh, whatever. Um, remember this, okay. All I got to say is this game, I was like, if I can get the rule system for this game, I'm happy because I, I 100% uh, believe that I can use the strategic rules or strategic movement and the basic combat system uh, for my game. It will be extremely easy to incorporate it. Um, and I wanted... I, the icing or whatever on top would have been uh, a specific version or, or uh, whatever. Okay, you ready? I got this for $5. $5. I well, I kissed it. I think I, yeah, I kissed it when I saw it. I went, you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I'm not kidding you. I asked, I said to the Grog Shed, I'm looking for the Great War at Sea, the Mediterranean. I don't even, I just want to get the scenarios. I want to learn the rules. But when I saw Andrew Chung uh, doing some stuff with that, I went, oh my F. Do I ever want to try this out? I say to Bob last night, the vendor, if all I can find is the Great War at Sea, um, you know, and I'm like, okay, specifically the Mediterranean, I'll lose it. And I was like, you know, what are the odds? And he's like, oh my God, yeah, that would be good to find. $5 Canadian, an American nickel. You ready for this? You ready for this, man? Never been played. <laughs> Never been played. Counters aren't punched. Nothing's been effed around with. Even Rob said, I don't even think they opened the map, Chris. <laughs> what 
the hell? Thank you, board game fairy man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have no idea, thank you. Oh, oh my God! Like I, I couldn't stop talking about this afterwards. I was like, what? What? You've got to be joking, man. Oh my God! Like this is just. Thank you. Anyways, that's it. Um, I'm gonna try to just. Well, I've got other stuff to do. I I did the um. I did a first uh, read through of the um, the war summary for the week, but I haven't recorded it yet. Uh, due to the fact I don't like doing it uh, straight up. It, I mean, the text is poorly scanned, you know, like, or not all of it, but some of the you know some of it's poorly scanned. Um, so I want to read it at least once before I go and record it, you know, that type of thing. But oh my god, I'm sorry, but this. Oh. And then, oh. All right. That's it. I'm sorry. I'm like, you know, I'm like mental, whatever. Okay. See ya. Hope you're having a... Yeah. I'm... Well, obviously I am. See ya. Bye.